All right, just a quick video showing pre-Protestant writings against the Pope and against his Catholic cult started by Satan. Because you see, they'll say, Catholic apologists will say, well, you know, the church was unified, then, you know, uh, your stances were invented by Martin Luther. They'll essentially paint it out like Martin, like nobody believed the biblical doctrines of salvation by grace through faith, you know, scripture alone is the sole authority before Martin Luther, everybody which is part of this giant Catholic cult. That's not true. There are plenty of writings against the Pope identifying, correctly identifying the Pope as the Antichrist spirit of devil that he is. Plain and simple. Many writings before Martin Luther came on the scene, writings from the 8th and 9th century identifying the Pope as Antichrist, which he is. He's of the spirit of Antichrist. He's nothing more than just a blasphemous usurper of the authority of Christ over his saints. And the Pope is a vicar of hell. He, he says he's the vicar of Christ. Well, I agree with him. He is the vicar of Christ, but it's not the Christ of God's word. It's the spirit of Antichrist. Whole other issue. But here, uh, David Claude has a really good article on the matter showing uh, the fact that they're, uh, you know, the fact that Rome definitely fits the description of Mystery Babylon in Revelation 17 and 18. And he provides plenty of uh, writings against the Pope, identifying the Pope as Antichrist before Martin Luther. This is a, uh, Part of the article it says it gives the examples at the end of the ninth century Targandus, bishop of Trelves called the Pope Antichrist yea a wolf and Rome Babylon this was in the ninth century hundreds of years before Martin Luther in the 10th century uh, Arm Armolivus probably not saying that right Bishop of Orleans in a full council at Reims called the Pope Antichrist and he gives a source about that this was in the 10th century in the 11th century uh, Baringer of Tours denounced Rome's dogmas and maintained that the Catholic Church was the see of Satan. And he's absolutely right. The Roman Catholic Church is where the seat of Satan is, I believe. And that was in the 11th century. The Waldensians throughout most of their long history identified the Pope as Antichrist. The Waldensian Treaty, titled A Noble Lesson, dated at 1100 AD, stated, quote, The Antichrist, the predicted murder of the saints, hath already appeared in his true character, seated monarchically, Monarch, probably not saying that right. No, good at reading on a computer. In the Seven Hilled City, uh, talking about the, the Vatican. In uh, 1112 and uh, 1160 AD, a treatise concerning the Antichrist, the Pope of Rome as the Antichrist. Sorry, it identified the Pope as Rome of the as the Antichrist. And they're absolutely right. I believe the Antichrist will be essentially a Pope like figure. He'll be the final Pope, I believe. Continuing on in the article. In 1206, at a conference in Montreal, of Montreal, the Albigenses made the following confession, that the Church of Rome was not the spouse of Christ, but the Church of Confusion, drunk with the blood of the martyrs, that the policy of the Church of Rome was neither, God, uh, neither good nor holy, nor established by Jesus Christ. Amen to that. The Roman Catholic Church is nothing more than just the pagan Greco-Roman religion merging in with some truths in the Old and New Testament. Satan is the great counterfeiter. So he, he was persecuting the body of Christ with the pagan Roman Empire, but it wasn't working, so he created his, his own counterfeit Christianity, his own counterfeit religion, profession to be of Jesus Christ, because Christianity is not really a scriptural term. So he created his own counterfeit religion, took in the, taking the pagan Roman religion, which was rooted in, in uh, ancient Babylonian religion, and merging it in to create this essentially paganized perversion of the faith once delivered unto the saints. Mixing in pagan traditions, which, which is put up putting a uh, biblical spin on it, essentially taking truths from the Bible and mix it in with pagan customs. Hence where we have the origins of Christmas. Because yes, Christmas is a Catholic holiday. I've shown that in many videos. Christmas was the pagan Roman feast days and it was taken and made Christian, you know, it was Christianized by the Catholic Church. Uh, continuing on the article, the Bohemian Brethren held the following beliefs according to the Roman Inquisitor. This description uh, this description uses the material from the 13th century. Quote, the first error, saith he, is that the Church of Rome is not the Church of Jesus Christ, but an assembly of wicked men, and the horror that sits upon the beast in Revelation. They declare the Pope to be the hand and ringleader of all errors. This is the Catholic Inquisitor acknowledging that this is what the Bohemian Brethren are saying. So this guy is saying, you know, essentially... This was a, a reproof against the Catholic Church before Martin Luther, and this Catholic Inquisitor is acknowledging that, you know, and they're right. The Catholic Church is not the Church of Jesus Christ. It's an assembly of wicked men, like it says. The Lollards in the 14th and 15th century maintained that the Church of Rome was not the Church of Christ, but of infidel heathens, and they despised all ecclesiastical laws together with the bishops and ministers of the Church. Amen. Absolutely right. All of which are before Martin Luther came on the scene. Because the true saints of God understood the Roman Catholic Church is from the pit of hell. 
and the Roman Catholic Church, if you're part of that false religion, is a one-way ticket to the pit of hell. That's the truth of the matter. The Pope is not the vicar of Christ, he is the vicar of hell, damning souls to hell with them. And don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. They may talk about Jesus Christ just like how the Mormons talk about Jesus Christ, some Hindus talk about Jesus Christ, Muslims talk about Jesus Christ. Which Christ is it? It's another Christ. See, when they say Christ started our church, they are right in a sense because they have a false Christ. So their false Christ did indeed start uh, Satan's Catholic cult. So I want to show you guys that pre-Martin Luther writings against the Pope correctly identifying him as the Antichrist spirit of devil that he is. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.